Hello, everybody. And we are back with uh, Lost in Darkness and Insurgents. And Tom is here again. Hello. And we are going to be casting this uh, Division 4 match from uh, last week. It's going to be a recast. Uh, again, it's one of the matches I haven't looked at. I've only looked at the lineup, so I haven't looked at the table, so I'm not entirely sure who won. But it's going to be quite a close match, I believe. I mean, it's going to be a close match because it's kind of two bottom division teams that are arguably, they've got talent, but at the same time, it's Division 4. Don't knock Division 4. I mean, it, it's... I'm a Division 4 player and I'm saying it. I'm probably the lowest average scorer ever. <laughs> Honestly, I think this could be a very good match. And some of the people in Division 4 do have the potential to be in high divisions. A lot of people do, but it's just the fact that, you know, there's kind of... And I hate to say obvious skill gap, because there, although there was a last season and maybe two seasons ago as well, there really isn't that much of an obvious skill gap anymore. I mean, there's, of course, teams like Lost in Darkness that were kind of guaranteed Division 4 spot. Mm-hmm. But it's, like you said, with D2 and D3, you know, some of the clans that are in D2 and D3, you said they should just be one division yeah. because they're all nearly the same skill. I reckon you could throw a few of the D4 teams in that mix as well. And yeah. I, I say IRC, if they had a bit more experience competitively, they could probably get thrown up a division or two. Oh, definitely. But as we saw with week one, that, that um, CT penalty yeah. really cost them, and that blue line really, really cost them that win. And hopefully, they, they I mean, Lifeboat's not in the lineup. Their lineup this, what's their lineup this week? It is Same, Nemesis, Higgers, Claw, and Trippy Sam, apparently. That's, that's in service's lineup. And that's honestly a very, very good lineup. And, um... I'm excited to see this, actually, because both teams are kind of, I think, over overlooked. I was going to say underlooked, but they're not really, because Insurgents is known more than Lost in Darkness. I think Lost in Darkness is kind of, I mean, Lost in Time in general is kind of known to the clan who always seems to be losing their, their matches this season. Yeah, However, they're, they're kind of the clan that go around being like, zero in 30! Yeah. That's, that's kind of the cheer that we have. But, having said that, they can easily pull out a victory over Insurgents. Because as we saw last week, all it takes is one race and Insurgents go on, quote-unquote, tilt. Tilt. So our favourite word. Our favourite word. So it's going to be interesting to see just what we can get out of this. Because uh, I believe Lost in Darkness' lineup, you were not in it this week, unfortunately. No, um, well, I'm not very good, am I? <laughs> It was, who was it? Zagler, Quinton, Connor, Juna, and Owen, apparently, is their lineup. Um, again, I don't, I don't think that's a bad lineup. I mean, it's kind of, like I said, it's the situation where a lot of the people are kind of semi known or not known at all. Yeah. Like, I mean... in, D4, in this lineup, especially, you've got Connor, who not many people know of. But at the same time, he's he's quite a capable player. You've got people like Trippy Sam, who not so many people know of, who, again, very capable player. He has been able to show quite a few good performances in Wars before. And you've got people like Zagler, who used to play in a few clans, didn't really make too much of a mark, and then returned recently. But, I mean... They're all capable players, it's just a matter of showing their potential. I agree. Well, it looks like we're getting underway. It does. Um, this should be very interesting. Uh, and, and it's very different from the last war as well, because there is no team picks here. Well, that's what you get for being in Division 4. Every single, yeah, every single track is different. Which is very interesting to see, actually. So neither team... Is having a uh, team pick. And we're going Daisy Circuit. We are. All, all tracks off, a, off of an Owen pick there. Off of an Owen. Well, Owen's very good at Daisy Circuit, but it's really going to depend on, I think, if the, the team overall is good at this track. 
Yeah, that's that's why a lot of teams team pick nowadays. It's because originally you could kind of just like there weren't standout players that were very good on tracks, but nowadays you have to pick tracks that teams are really good at because you can very easily pick a track that one person's good at and then they front run it and then the rest of the team get bottom four. Yeah. When back a few years ago, you know, that, that kind of didn't happen as often. There weren't standout players on tracks. There weren't situations where you'd have a front run. You know, the pack would be a lot tighter back then. Well, here's another interesting thing. There is no going backwards in this war, which is, which is already interesting to see. So we're just going to have whoever's in last after a period of time going for the shock, I assume. Which I, I, I prefer wars that way compared to um, compared to the other ones because I, I just don't like trolling or bagging wars because they sometimes get really annoying, especially when you're playing them. When you're commentating them, it's fine, but when you're playing in a bagging or trolling war, it just sometimes it gets annoying. One thing I do believe I did hear in the LD chat was that uh, they swapped their bagging policy in the middle of the match. I oh, did so hear they, that. So they do start going back with middle match. Do you think? At some point, I believe Connor decided that. He oh, had that's to... a red for Claw, and he's got. Oh, it that's is a shock. Zag... No one dodged. Oh, <laughs> no one dodged Ooh, that it's a, shock. It's a D4 shock. That's LT McTree used that shock. I'm not exactly sure why. Are we sure? Yeah, because he, he came up and he was the only one who was big, so yeah. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be that's that's interesting. I think that might be an IRC, maybe top three five. That's 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 quite a good yeah, IRC top, race. Top two, four, five, yeah. That's really gonna affect LT going into the next few races. That shot by LT McTree was just quite bad, to be honest. McTree. McTree did not do LT proud there, unfortunately. He's not had a good day. Oh dear. Anyway, well, that's going to be an early lead for Insurgents, and there we, go. we just have to hope that Lost in Darkness can claw this back race by race. No pun intended. Thanks, Claw. <laughs> well, as you said, that first race we did see that shock, and that. In Division 4 especially, that's a sign of things to come that's not very team played in Division 4. I think it's a lot more individual points are worth more than teaming. I think that was what was said in the introduction um, stream yeah. as well, is that the only difference between like a D2 or a D3 clan and a D4 clan is, you know, item usage, communication. Teamwork, basically. Teamwork, yeah. yeah. And, you know, whereas there are some experienced baggers in the bottom division and there are some experienced runners in the bottom division, you know, they're not... It's not a matter of being perfect just by having one good player. You know, one good player... Or one good bagger can't, you know, make a whole team. Yeah. It just seems to me that this match, especially, it's only been one match and a lap, and it already seems a bit all over the place. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about D4 that I kind of like, though, is the fact that it's not as predictable. It's not as obvious. Yeah. And although people will complain that it's kind of not obvious because the skill level or the communication or the item usage may be lower tier. I I disagree. I think the difference really between item usage is that D4 players are kind of a lot happier to use items fast. As you can see like, there, Claw has sniped himself. Yeah, he sniped himself just because he was very happy to spam the item. He like, tried to get, I believe, Zagla and he did fail and he did end up getting himself. LT, I believe, two three. I believe so, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Oh, Claw again has done that, and now he believe he'll be chaining. No, he's not chaining his star, which means he might IRC might have the shot. Connor it is, is in a mega. It is quite surprising that he's not chaining his star though, because one thing I would say that I was going to say was that, uh, like, 
all Division 4, you see, like what Claude did earlier oh. in the lap. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, like see, what I would have changed that star. That's yeah. Like, I don't know why he was holding that for so long. He had two laps. He had two boxes in eight. But he could have easily changed a bill or a star to. That's that's one thing I would say though, Claude is not playing quite like with his items he's not playing quite so much like a D four player that you'd expect because D four you know, it's spammy. The items yeah. aren't held. It's not really so tactical. It's not a matter of holding your shrooms or anything. It's a matter of hoping to get shrooms close to the cut and then yeah. only holding them for a set. It's not holding stars for the whole race, it's holding a star for maybe a set and then getting a lucky dodge. Yeah, that is what it's doing to me in Division 4. IRC though, I think 146? Yeah, I mean, he's holding the blue. They must so... have been first. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what they got other than that. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. That's top two, four, six. Ooh, oh, yikes. LT is oh. bottom three overall. That's not gone well for them. Yeah, I that, don't that... know if this is a sign of things to come. See, seeing the LT tag in bottom spots, being an LT player is quite, quite common. Mm. I'm going to have to put a pot shot into a clan that I play for there by saying mm. that they uh, we are it's, it's quite, quite commonly it's, it's in not, the bottom. It's not going well for them because their highest player currently is Junior and he's only on 12. Yeah, 12 after two races is not great for the highest player. Especially for Lost in Time. I mean, Lost in Time can be a very, well, Lost in Darkness rather, could be a very good clan, but unfortunately for them, it's just all about the Indians. I think Insurgents have a lot more... They have people like Nemesis and Trippy Sam who are very are very well known for being... Well, good at the game. But they're also very known for... They're well known for being... When they need to be good teamers. Yes. When they absolutely need to be. They can be Indians at times. But... When they need to be they can be team players, unlike Lost in Darkness, which I haven't seen one good team play from them so far. I know it's only the third race, but you should have seen a good team play by them from now. One thing I would personally say is that... Oh, I've just seen the scores that were in the score holder. 83 to 39. Yeah, already. That's, yeah. That's already. That is quite bad. Lost in, Lost in Darkness, I think, really need um, the shock this race. They do, and I mean, if they can get the shock, they should be all right. But if IRC get it, IRC, in my opinion, not to bash my own clan like yourself, but IRC are better runners. Because IRC are better runners, they don't really need the shock. So if they get it, it might be better for them to just hold it. I would strongly agree with that, and my main issue with this lineup for Lost in Darkness, there's no clear communicator. The thing about lineups is there's always a player, normally the bagger, that communicates items really, really well and has a really good game sense. In this lineup, you can see Zagler, Quinton, Connor, you know, none of these players are really obvious, you know communicators that can get the whole team to dodge or that can get like a perfect play that's a sharp red for claw but that is that might be that was like no that was now lt's in top four right now LT's they are and five. it's lap three lt's in top five it's lap three and that is top four Zagler that's did top four that exactly Zagler, Zagler i reckon he probably got bumped when probably did get really bumped, but that's a top four that's a top four for LT, that's fucking straight back in this. That's fucking straight back in this. It has, and I mean, Juna and Quinton now in 2-3 overall. A lot better than the, what was it? 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was an extremely good shot by Lost in Darkness there. They shocked Fred at Claw, and uh, Bully kind of dodged, and the shocker, whoever that was, changed to, it looked to be a golden. Which really helped them. 
and Jeff is asking why that race was crazy. It wasn't that crazy, but it was certainly surprising to see. It, it, it was a surprising race because we saw kind of, like I said, that LD lineup, there aren't really obvious team communicators for items like shocks. So it's quite surprising to see successful shock usage like that, you know, yeah. so, you know, to such a good success, even though it is a track where shocks are quite easy to use, you know, it's quite promising to see communication like that. Indeed. I mean, especially after two really bad races for LD, it's nice for that kind of race to just kind of perk them back up, you know, yeah, keep definitely. the fight going. Definitely, I mean, that top four is definitely, I don't think that's making them win now, but I believe it's definitely closer than it was. It is a lot closer. And that may have put LD back on the map, so to speak. Let's see what they do here. Well, we are see. on Coconut Mall. Oh, we I'm are. We're getting invaded by Connor. He's going to go back to get the boost panel. And Sammy has pulled a TC in front of him. And that stopping is with not it. really the item that Sammy probably wanted, to be fair. If I was Claw, I would hope for a Mega or Triple Shrooms here. And he does get Triple Shrooms, which is going to really help him if he holds them and he does take the shortcut lap too. I'm not too sure, though, about using. Oh, he used one, so he's clearly not wanting to take the full cut. No, he just I think he's just going to take the uh, box standard cut here, and he does. He's going to hold that room in fifth, which I don't know if that's wise. He can get a better item. It's certainly not wise. I mean, especially now that he's in, like, fifth or sixth. Like, you can chain for a mega. You can get triple shrooms again, you know. Even in spots like fourth, like, we see him now that he's, you know, overtaken a few of the LT players. Or, yeah... He, he can easily get a better item than a Shroom. Well, I mean, now he's in third. I mean, I would debate if he can get a better item now. So that might be wise of him holding that Shroom for the shortcut, but he might get TS in the shortcut, which is always possible. It's always possible, and it's kind of the play that you'd somewhat expect so if there was to be an early lap three shock. Uh, well, I'm is his top two. If LD have shock, they need to use it soon. Because the pack is very spread out right now, and the only person up there for LZ is Juna, and he might get fibbed. No, he didn't, but... Oh, Claw hit the wall, but he's still in second. Let's see if Juna can do much. If Juna can get a red shell or something, or maybe triple reds or something along those lines to maybe get Claw out of second, it's going to be a better race for... No, I don't think that's going to happen. No, I think Juna's going to just uh, get sl gonna get slagged there. It's going to be a top two. I'm not... Oh, but it looks like someone was holding the blue as well. I'm Obviously yeah. The IRC. So, well, that's a top two for sure for IRC. I'm not exactly sure what else they got. Well, a top two, six, seven. That's not as good as it could have been. Certainly not as good as it could have been. I mean, yeah, it's it's you'd, you'd expect a team like IRC to kind of do a lot better on that track given as you say they have more running capabilities but I mean top two six that's not as bad as you would normally expect well IRC won that GP by 20 20 only 20 so if IRC can um, keep this up they should be all right because if you get 20 or less you still get the bonus points obviously so IRC did win that 132 to 112. So, we are going to have to see how uh, the next few races go. And uh, Claw is going to have to uh, pick Funky Kong in the Flame Runner. Indeed, he is going to have to do that. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the positions of either team right now, but. Um, Hopefully they, they pick a track that they know works for them. Uh, Claw, what's Claw going to be picking here? Delfino Square, perhaps? Yeah, it looks to be a Delfino. He's, He's hovering over it. it. No, there we go. He's chosen it now. Uh, but Good. again, it's kind of a... Well, it seems like to me now they're doing more track picks, which is very smart, very more team... It, yeah. It's, it's a lot more team tracks. 
rather than uh, individual tracks. But it doesn't pick it. It doesn't. It picks the indie track of generic right angles. Let's see what they can do on generic right angles, though, because oh, we can see the start here. I think. Let's see if I'm timed okay. Yeah. Um, as we see here, we have IRC in one four, but uh, there is a TC being passed around behind Claw. I'm not entirely sure on who has it, but uh, oh, that is an LT member who has that TC. Um, and that is going to be a lot LT Con again shocked. Uh, IRC Ooh. is still uh, their top three now. IRC, if they can hold this, they should have no. Not too sure what's happening there. I'm not too sure either what's happened there. I apologize Hello. for that. Sorry, I've I've made an appearance. Oh, we have uh, Mr. Good Dar evening, uh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, dudes and, and dames. Dardy has entered the building. Anyway, um, I'm here to commentate, so I hope you enjoy. Well, sorry. If, sorry oh, I'm not really. entirely sure what happened to <laughs> Call there. It kind of had a bit of a dying moment. It, it did. I think it's yeah. Been call, call bills up to fifth. Uh, am I in the right place, by the way? Probably uh, not. No, we've just gone into lap two. Lap no, two. Oh, I, no, we haven't. We're on the end of lap two. Lap two. Okay, I'm a little. Okay, that was spoilers. Right. Okay. Oh, that's a sec. TS on Trippy. That must have been an L. Oh, and Claw hits the fire pillar, and that's going to be. That's going to cost him quite a lot of spots. L LT has now came up, and well, actually, no, I tell a lie because LTR still back here. I'm not entirely sure who is up there in the front positions, but a lot of IRC members seem to be biting the dust. Uh, LT is in 5-6. Oh, again, that's Sammy going, but he has taken Claw with him, his own teammate, which is interesting. LT might that be in good position. That is a shock. I don't know whose that was. Again, I don't think anyone dodged. It looked like an end of shock. Whose was that? Uh, if Claw can look backwards, I don't know if he will, but I don't I'm, know I'm not sure Claw has the sense of looking backwards at the moment. No, it was IRC, it was Nemesis. It was Nemesis there. So that was quite an interesting shock, because IRC is now bottom three, and I would have held that shock. But Claw does get the bill. And I'm assuming this is the one that Dart is on about billing into fifth. Yeah, yeah where there it's we up go. to fifth. Um, I've already lost track of where I'm. Holy shit. Oh, it's gone. Oh, well, yeah, he, uh, he's got, he's IRC's got, four five and Claw. He gets triple shrooms in fifth. That's not that bad. That's not, not that, that bad. bad at all. It's like your luck. Yeah, that is quite my luck. That Actually, is I would quite play. your luck. Hey ho. Uh, but yeah, he ends up pulling up a fourth that race. Um, I was obviously I only commented in half that race. So um, I'm not is, entirely sure. Oh, LT oh, got one three uh, five. Yeah, that is a good race for LT. Hopefully, they could uh. Pull this back slowly. I mean, they I did get bottom two though, which is going to affect them in the. Oh yeah, the bottom two. I didn't even notice that. Thank you for uh, pointing that out. Um, yeah, like the L the LT bottom two that could like kind of bring the score down. I mean, I'm not sure um what the scores are currently. So uh, I believe L uh, IRC is up by about thirty ish right now. Okay, so that a one three five bottom two. That's roughly maybe. Obviously, it's a winning for LT. However, um. Maybe it was... I think it's about a plus 10 or something, maybe? Something along really bad. those lines. No, nah, I, think, I think a little less. 25, 31, it's 32 to... Uh, 30, 29. 29, so yeah. 32 so that's, to that's only winning by 3. Or something like that. Sorry, my maths is pretty arse, but... Uh... I'm hoping that's right. Uh, um, anyway, we are going to continue. Again, uh, the, the team not picks. A lot of, there's not a lot of team picks. They're what... As we saw in uh, the other divisions, every single person in the team was choosing the same track, whereas these, they're yeah. a bit... They're a bit, they're a bit more individual. Time. They're a bit more individual. Yeah. Square. Yeah. Again, like I said in the last war, this is a track that's this... very easy to get to the front, but it's also very oh, yeah. easy to lose there's, the front. There's, there's a triangle of... um. Gr Grumble Volcano, Delfino Square, and I don't remember the last track. BC3. I think it might have been BC3, where it's all shortcut-based. Uh, shortcut so, hopefully, um, 
I, I guess it's mixed here because you've got the anchored bottom two from LT. Yeah. Um, so they could try and do something to get up there. The well, floor gets pushed into a wall, so. and that's gonna that might actually help him because if he can get yeah. a hold out of the back wall, stretch. it's the ultimate back stretch, It clearly is. Uh, yeah. As far as Claw's going, I mean, time, but either way, it doesn't really matter. He pulls Ooh, a bill. Pulls that's, a bill. that's not uh, the best that's item. A, that's not the best item. However, yeah, he's going to be used. It could that. take him up to a good spot, and all the um, all the other players could take the cut. So then he could get another item, laps two and maybe even three. So maybe Possibly. he could take. Possibly, he's in eighth. I, I yeah, would... he's eighth. So yeah, exactly. I would um, hope for him to get a star or something along eight. those lines. Triple yeah. shrooms. Triple shrooms. That's that isn't that bad, but. I reckon he could pull better. Well, maybe he could, maybe he couldn't. It doesn't really matter. I don't know why he, he'd spam them there. Like, I would have... Oh, we'll see. Okay. He's slowing okay, yeah. down for an He's item. slowing down, yeah, fine enough. That's, maybe that's probably because he wants to get a uh, better item box. However, he ends up pulling a... Pull it, uh, pulling a triple shrimp, yeah. Uh, <laughs> another pair of triple shrimps. Uh, on set? Is it a pair of triple No, it's set. Yeah, set, set of I'm shrimp. not entirely sure, but I think Insurgents might have shock. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't been looking at the uh, mini I'm maps. not entirely sure, but because Claw's slowing down, he's trying to get oh, a box. Do you know with a... the Mega? Do you know with the Mega? Did he get one of his own teammates? Oh, speaking of the devil, uh, Claw gets one himself into third. Uh, he's into second with the Mega as well, but there is a red trailing him, and he ends up heading in the wall with it. So, um, fair, fair play to him. And oh. then there's... And he drops the green, and he gets LT Juna. Oh. LT is still top two, though. LT, LT is still top two, however, but you've got to bear in mind the Mega in third for uh, Claw. He could escape this with a regular shortcut and get first. Also, depending on whether people take the uh, the uh, double. Which... If IRC have shock, they can dodge Claw after he takes the shortcut. Oh, yeah, that definitely. would definitely be a good race. Why, why is he taking the dock route, is what I'm wondering. He could have just went straight. Well, Higgers is in a Mega, so if IRC... Yeah, do... oh. Oh. oh! What was that? Was that a failed trigger or what? I don't what? know what that was because sure that was that, most likely that was the uh, a communication failure or a button failure. From, well, yeah, because uh, that was Insurgents of Shock because Higgers dodged. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, and then there's a Flint TC. As long as no one takes this, I reckon he could come out with a uh, top five position. Uh, okay, never mind. Oh no, he's gonna. Oh yeah, he's been mega. Think eight. Yeah, yeah, that ain't thanks too well for uh, Claw, buddy. I'm not entirely sure, but I think LT uh, might have won that race again. Yeah, LT might have won that. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Four, three, four, six, ten. I mean, Ju Ju Juna, uh, Zagla might have got last, but uh, one, three, or whatever we just said. Um, <laughs> that's actually not that bad. No, uh, I agree. Well, Tom has disappeared for a bit because he has parents. Um, oh, but you and I, right? We can do this. Uh, you can be Tom for the day. Oh yes. Hello everybody, my name is Stunky and um <laughs> talk like this. I sound nothing like Tom. No but, um, <laughs> it's, the it's the best Harpenden impression you're gonna get, unfortunately. Oh dear. At well, least I tried. That was some form he is winning this I don't know if they're winning overall, but they would they're definitely winning this GP so far. Um, I'm pretty sure. Like for after each race. Uh it's thirty seven to twenty four that race? So that was winning by 13, yeah, winning by 13 in LT's favor. Mm -hmm. um, right, uh, again, with the very trap picks, BC3, uh, Dry Dry, MC3, Raceway, there's luck, yeah. more luck tracks, I'd say, than it's, skill it's tracks. Go, it's gone back to, unfortunately, the tra uh, team picks have not worked yeah. out because, well, it they does go, seem like insurgents, no, not yeah, insurgents, that's lost in time, doing the trap picks, but... Cape out, oh, we're going to go play a bit of a KC. So we are going to go play Cooper Cape. Uh, we're going to have to see how this goes. Cooper Cape, again, one of those Bloody tracks that is extremely interesting to play. You've well, got that uh, overpowered shortcut at the end. It's going to really depend on who gets the shock, I think, here. Yeah, with this track, it's you can either front run it really well, or it can just pretty much go to hell, pretty much. Yeah. The, uh, the overpowered shortcut, let, let's talk about that at the end. Um... Like you can shroom up at the end. Like you can you can front run it and you, you can get an easy breakaway. But then again, it's like the amount of shroom spots and the amount of barriers there are, which create a lot of like. Uh, I guess you can have a golden strategy, shroom strategies in general. Um, and there's Nemesis getting a back rain on the other hand. Uh, but uh, yeah, you got to think like this can either lead to uh, a series of players breaking away, or everyone will be bagging for shrooms. Like Claw has himself a sixth place golden, which I'm sure he will use that to his uh, full potential with the. Yeah, uh, shortcut up here. Um, yeah, so he's in sixth. He's probably gonna 
uses it here. Oh, no, he isn't. Okay. I think Maybe he's also... saving it for the uh, Shroomba place. Yeah, Yeah, probably. Um. Oh, we got Zagler and a Bill. Actually, yeah, I, f I forgot about that, Shulker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um. <clears throat> Zagler builds up into... Uh, Trippy Orphan. Sam fell off. Paddy McGuinness has not had a fun time. <laughs> um... As far as the rest of the yeah, as you can see, he's yeah, taking that and... golden strat here. Yeah, this is what I was on about, like, the other lap. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, shortcuts and golden strategies you can actually uh, pull off here on Cooper Cup. LT's top 2-4, so... That's, that, that's really good for uh, Lost in Time here. Um, who's... Oh yeah, they're, they're fourth as well. I keep on thinking Claw's part of LT. That's probably just a biased view or whatever, since I am in LT, so, you know. That power's interesting. Claw got powered into boxes, but he does land on a banana. Yeah, he, only gets, uh, he only gets a nana, which is... I don't think he could do too much with this. Like, even even a nana snipe, I don't think we'll get him that much. And no, again, he didn't, didn't get it anyway. Let's hope he gets a uh, triple shrooms up here. Oh, a single shroom. Um, ooh. He killed, he killed dude the shroom here. I mean, personally, I would have probably used it around this bend, so it saves more time going up the uh, mini ramp here. And then the Connor Lunnan, legendary Spud Lunnan with the triple... <laughs> legendary Spud Lunnan with Spud your triple Lunnan. reds. Shout out to my boy Spud Lunnan. Rejoin <laughs> LT, my nigga. That's a I, shock. And... That is a shock. Uh, Connor Lunnan. I don't know why I'm calling him Connor Lunnan. Connor Lunnan, oh, guys. <laughs> Just um... a beast. Oh, there's a blue. There's a blue. There Was that thrown by tree? Was that thrown by tree? That's not three, that's Quinton, but yeah, it might have been. That hit, that hit LT, so I hope not. I, I think that might have been a spam blue from Quinton. Ooh. I would hope not, and Claude yes. does not get a last box. And uh, even if he did get a box, he would have got Quinton, which probably would have been a blooper anyway. And there's a fifth, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you know what that calls for, right? Five, <laughs> six, eight, we've got a bit of steps. Oh, my boy, my, 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 my own bad steps. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. Five, oh. <laughs> It was a six, seven, eight, dude. Mm, oh. Close oh, yeah. enough. Higgers running away with the MVP currently with a twenty-six, whereas Sammy, uh, obviously bagging, along with, is Sammy bagging? Uh, no, uh, no one's bagging. There's no bagging in this one. Well, uh, Sammy currently with the LVP for the GP with seven points. So, um, uh, it's, it's gone well for him. They can bring it back. Yeah. Um, I was kind of disappointed. Uh, I, I don't know why I keep on seeing this. Uh, the point of view is uh, LT, but I got a little. Excited. Uh, because uh, my main dog's steps got a bit of five, seven, eight going, but uh, unfortunately the dream wasn't real. Uh, yeah, we sorry, uh, LT losing the race by five. Something no, wait. along those lines, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah, Astro's doing the scores in the uh, thingy, so yeah. What is it? I guess it's better than nothing. Yeah, he spam results. Yeah, that's that's fine. Anyway, again with the uh, BC3. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, well, with the vast majority of um, insurgents here are uh, picking Bowser Castle three, um, and we're gonna go MC8 three anyway. Again, it's kind of actually no, it's more. I say it's more of a luck track than BC3 because then again, you still kind of can't front run BC3. It's a track that um, either team really is gonna need the shock. It's oh, yeah. a very it's a very um, shock reliant track. It's going to depend on if they choose to go get it or not. Because LT has oh, had a great red. GP so far. Zagler, and he's probably going to try and red our boy Connor Lunnan. Come on, get. Oh, no. Trippy Sam with the Nana on Connor Lunnan. What a man. What an absolute legend. Oh, Claw's trying to slag, which yeah, is very smart. Like, yeah. hey, uh, Trippy Sam a breakaway. And here comes the, shri the so sweet shroom, may I add, uh, for a top two breakaway on MC3, which. They could run away with it, but then again, you got to realize the pack at the end uh, on the other side of the well, the other players, obviously. Oh, the breakaway's gone. Never mind what I was gonna say. But like, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, I I just kind of contradicted it myself there. But uh, you got to bear in mind, like shrooms are a massive factor on this track. If you've got shrooms in a high position, you're gone. You're most likely you'll get a top five position. Um, yeah, not really much happening here. We've got Trippy Sam breaking away from a uh, claw here, but then again, claw breaking. From third place, which I believe is Nemesis. It is, yeah. Uh, IRC is currently top three. If, if LD do not have the shock, it's gonna. I hope you can uh, bring this back, as it were. Maybe with a shock. Maybe with even shrooms, like I was talking about, like that being a key factor for this track. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, again, top top three for uh, Insurgents still. There's got to be something quick here, and then IRC, LT, and Megas, uh, Owen even, and then we've got our boy Quinton in a bill. Uh, There's a lot of people in dodges, but that's still going to be an insurgent top two four. Uh, 
to oh no was that a push no that was lag that was lag that was a top two four six i believe for insurgents yes top two four six okay uh, i believe it was yeah are you sure sammy isn't i don't know sorry i this that might have been more of a harsh view. I don't know, he's just kind of sitting on 7. <laughs> no offense, Sammy. Don't worry, uh, against Moy, GP2 of CSL, I got 9. Oh, that's Do not brilliant. Fret. I, I did extremely well. Um, yeah. so, uh, so, IRC won that GP uh, by 8. Oh, an eight. Ooh. okay, so, so how much won GP1 by? Uh, uh, IRC won GP1 by 20, so it's 28 overall now. 28? Mm. There's still room for... Um, <clears throat> For a comeback for Lost in Darkness' side. Yeah, so let's hope. definitely. Oh, there's five people in the room? Is that oh, just... that's a very big DC. I'm oh. not quite sure what happened uh, that's there. DC, but obviously, the race counts, you know, stuff. It was just a DC after results, so nothing to fret there, I guess. Oh, what, wait, what's happened? Oh, oh apparently, the broadcast oh, has the... been cut. Yeah, the cast has been cut. You know, fair play. At least, uh,. I guess the waiting out the way over and done with, you know. I was going to say, the, the stream only has like 10 minutes left. I was going to be surprised if... Yeah, uh, I'll be honest with you, that there's just a regular four races, right? There's yes, there's, there's four races left, yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, So yeah, we've got four races left. Uh, Insurgents up by 28. Uh, well, KP, what do you think of this? Reckon uh, LT could make a comeback? They've been doing well so far. It's going to really depend on the track picks because... All the track picks have been going Insurgents' way currently, and I honestly think Again, that... Um... Again, the PC3, the PC3 from Insurgents' side. And uh, I guess they're going for the more half-skill-based, half-luck track kind of way with BC3, because again, you can front-run it. Like, if you get a Shroom lap one, some form of Shroom lap one, you can take the cut, maybe even the Ultra, and then go from a high position here on out, there on out even. So, yeah, I think LT, they're going more individual tracks, whereas Insurgents are going more, um, more team-reliant team reliant tracks, so they can, you know... Yeah. So it's not just that uh, one player is up there and the rest are forward. Well, in my opinion, one of the most team... Right. This, this track requires a lot of teamwork and communication, I personally believe, anyway, is Peach Definitely. Gardens. Peach Gardens is a lot more of a team... Well, you know, what am I saying? It's a, it's a very... Uh, uh, how'd you say? It's a uh, team oriented track, yes. Yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, I mean oh. like, you could. Oh, oh, hello, Tom. Hello. Did I hear a Tom? Hello. Oh, there's my boy Stunk. Have a hello, mate. We're, we're with uh, Claw and Sammy in bottom two here. Uh, let's see what they can pull up here. It it's won't be one any. One thing, short especially Peach, Peach Gardens lap one, it's not really going to affect. Yeah, it's um, like, I guess you could say it's kind of like BC3. You can front run it, but then on the other side, you can get shrooms and, you know. Shroom up at the end, or you can even shroom up at the start and get a breakaway. The but... shock is oh. very useful on this track as well, especially if there's an yeah. overpowered shortcut at the beginning, and the shock yeah. can easily take you up a few positions. Yeah, and speaking of the shock, we have our boy Claw holding on to a star in seventh. He's uh, going to it for his cut. Chris Golden as well. Uh, nearly stars Higgers there, uh, may I add. Uh, but luckily, I think, I think that's his full name, Higgers. I believe it uh, is, uh, yes. LT's in third. I'm not exactly sure about top two uh, currently. LT's in third, but fourth place golden for uh, our boy Claw here. As I um, said, though, the shot is very... The he's going to be um, persistent on holding the golden. He's going to do... Um, obviously, he's going to do the OP cut at the start. He's going to be powed. Oh, he isn't. He's going to get powed. And he's going to hit the monster. Rest in peace. Oh, the rest in peace for the golden. He could have had such an easy first, maybe at least second there. I mean, obviously, depending on what happened after, but uh, he would have been in top two solidly. Hopefully, you can get something here. Um, you can get a mega or something on a shroom. Um, yeah. yeah. But he gets it too late, so he's not able to do the. Well, I don't the think cut. he expected triple shrooms in fourth, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. See, if that was me, I probably would have expected that because of my luck. Lol. Mm. But uh, anyway, that on more of a relevant note, uh, we have third here um, IRC 2 3. I Maybe don't know not... who's in first. If, the, if Nemesis yeah. or someone yeah. like that is in first, that's going to be top three. Um, hopefully it could be a top three for Insurgents here. Um, oh, oh, that's a oh, shock. That's a shock green. LT shock. I'm no. Oh, this no. was down there. Maybe LT might have been first. But then again, again, obviously there's other players from Insurgents that could have been up there. Um, and here we have everyone kind of shrooming up. This is what I mean. Like, you can be in the front. You can still obviously get first. Whereas there's, like, shocks and... Shrooms and you know other factors. I believe can... LT oh, IRC got a top two five six. Yeah, a top two five six ten for L uh, LC. 
What the hell am I on? Oh, IRC! It's, uh, it's, it's an like... extremely good race for IRC, and that's oh, yeah. gonna just have them to drive away with this. LT, I think they need a top three, top four to be successful. They're gonna need uh, like a, a top two, four, five, a top three, five. You name it. We're gonna need solid position. We, I'm sorry. They're going to need solid positions up there in order to maintain this uh, kind of tight wall, I guess you could say. Well, I believe uh, Insurgents is up by about 35 so far. Uh, up 35, okay. I believe something uh, like that's, that. That's, that's still doable in uh, Lost in Darkness. Uh, they could clap back, depending on if they want to do uh, teeth picking track. Again, IRC with the BC3. Um, or Sammy with the GD2, however. Um, there's a few interesting track picks there, which could go either way. Oh yeah, Grumble Volcano and BC3, like, the skill-based kind of luck track kind of thing going on there, like, you can front-run it, obviously. I, like, I'm saying this a lot, like, uh, certain tracks you can front-run, and you can also just get torn a new asshole, basically. But, uh... <laughs> we have BC3, though, they've been choosing this the whole war, so... Okay. See, I've see been seeing them picking, th them picking BC3 a lot, so hopefully they can actually do something here. We <coughs> are going to have to hope for them. They need to be confident, otherwise... Although, like again, this is another IRC pick, and IRC are already up. So LT are going to really need to bring something out if they have a chance of winning. Yeah, like, honestly, LT... though, I'd like to pick up uh, Trippy Sam. I believe he has a Shroomless Tops here. I'm not sure if I'm being out of date in this information, but I think last time I checked the Shroomless Top 10, and he could... Maybe he could like you know try and get a front run like something that could go on here it's just a hypothesis of what can happen in this uh race so possibly yeah but anyway before i really interrupt to both of you guys what are you going to say sorry go on tom um, you can go first I, I was gonna say lt are in quite good spots to be getting shrooms and this track it is kind of reliant on the cut not gonna lie like if you can take the cut fast and efficiently then you can very easily run as we see the blue we might see no, someone did get hit by that blue, so it wasn't someone that had taken a cut. Oh, it was like LT. It was LT that got hit by the blue. So I'll assume that's a LC shock. Well, I believe um, the cut was blocked by whoever first place was. I believe it was L LT, so no one would have been able to take the cut. Oh, the, oh, bomb, the bomb. Back bomb on Trippy and Claw. Oh, yeah. I keep Claw getting... could, well, no, I was going to say Claw could possibly get shrooms, but he did pull a blooper. Yeah, like Tom was saying, like, uh, you, if you take the cut lap one efficiently and fast, you can get a front run there on out, but obviously there's blue shells to counter that. Uh, and depending if, uh, the, uh, which team blocks the cut as well, that can also make, have a factor on it. Did Trippy dro uh, drop a golden or the shock? It's probably oh, not- Oh, well, Shlaw's not oh. had a fun time. Yeah, he's not had a fun time getting bumped off, and I think he also passed Trippy the TC? More than likely, I'm pretty sure yes. he passed Trippy the TC as well, so that's gonna be- Knocking two birds out with one stone there. Um, he's got a star in 10th. Uh, oh, ninth. Uh, who might have fell off? Obviously, he didn't show the game attack, so he wouldn't... Who might have really... fell off? Who might have fell off? It's a general Me. question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he changed the star here and has a golden in, uh, up in ninth. Um, I'm going to assume that he can try and t uh, communicate oh. to one of his... Was that Sammy shock? That must have been. Yeah, oh, was... Zach fell off. Okay. So it wasn't as bad as what we could have thought it would be for IRC. But, um, oh, he's going for the Ultra. Is he going to make it? He's going to make it. No. No. It's not gone too well for our boy Claw. I our don't door. think Claw's going to be having the funnest of races. And the other person did make the Ultra, so that's going to be large. Oh, yeah, that, that's Sam. This is why I'm saying, like, he's pretty good at this track. Uh, he has shroomless uh, top tens or some shit. Yeah, Claw's going to be getting last, unfortunately, for him. There's not much he can yeah. do. Then again, we can't really commentate what's around him, because obviously he's got a breakaway and last. And he pulls the bill, but obviously he pulls it too late. There's nothing he can really do there. Unless he has 900 kilometer an hour hacks. <laughs> oh, yeah. IRC top two. Six. IRC top two, seven, eight. To, yeah, top... Wait, top two, seven, eight, ten. Yeah. yeah. Top two, seven, eight, ten for IRC. Uh, and we'll let our boy Astro do a bit of the uh, calculation. Oh, right, okay, uh, they won that... Oh, is that the other race? Oh. Well, it's we have fun. two races left, anyway. IRC is up by about 40 now. If Austin Time want that bonus point, or even yeah, the win... Yeah, the, the most they're probably gonna get to is the bonus point. Um, obviously, it's still a pr still reachable, like, uh, calculation-wise, they can still actually win the war. But realistically, let's be honest here, um, IRC have been getting 
pretty good, damn good races here. Maybe yeah. the momentum from LT or Lost in Darkness have gone down. So I guess the most they can pretty much go for now is the uh, the bonus point. If they can manage that bonus point, on a G2, it should be okay well, for them. Insurgents' side. And again, the individual track picks with uh, LT here, I don't think it's going to go in favor for them because we're going to go GV2, I believe. Is it going to be GV2? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it's GV2. So yeah, I was kind of assuming since, you know, five, five things. Sorry. Lol. And this is the uh, third race. Um, as, as we said before with Yoshi Falls uh, on the last war, this is a, a track that's hectic, but it's very short. So I would get up there and hopefully stay up there. Yeah, it's like whatever happens in the first five seconds, I guess you could say. Like can determine like whatever half. happens in the first lap. If you're in like a top yeah. position in the first lap, unless you get TSD or blue, you're gonna stay I... in that position. Claw trying to backstab yeah. our boy Connor Lunnan. Let's Connor not... Lunnan has a voice. Bud Lunnan. Bud Lunnan, what a champ! Yeah, shout out to my voice, Bud Lunnan. That's once a again. He's gonna use it. Uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna use it. He's gonna try and course. overtake Connor Lunnan. He ended up taking over, uh, overtaking even Connor there. He also pulls a red, and he's gonna red our boy Connor Lunnan, but it oh, doesn't hit him. Connor Lunnan he's... avoids it. I don't know why I'm calling him Connor Lannan. I'm sorry. Know why it's your boy, it's your boy Hertfordshire Connor resident, <laughs> Connor Lannan. <laughs> Based Connor Lannan. But yeah, anyway, so we've got a, a sixth place box here. Let's see what he can pull. A little shroom, that's not really going to be what he needs. And he spams it on the corner, which isn't too efficient for him. If then he gets a golden to counter that, and he's going to be shrimming up into sixth, maybe even fifth. He might shrimming have. Shrimming up into sixth it... when he was in sixth? Hmm. <laughs> sixth. Well, you know what I mean. It's it's fine, guys. He it's might fine. be able to lag fifth, possibly. Yeah, because and again, it didn't, it didn't even matter because it was uh, Higgers there. But then again, two, three, four from LT. Two, three, four from LT. Uh, two, three, four, eight, nine from LT. Even sorry, I keep forgetting the bottom two scores. Um, LT are not doing awfully this race. They're still losing the GP by a fair amount, though. Yeah, they're still losing by a. What would you say? Thirty-five odd. Yeah. That 30, 30, 35, I'd say, since that race, uh, a two three four, like a two three four is winning. They didn't get the bottom two though, so I'd say that's scraping a win, scraping a win from about what between two and five points. Well, the last race here. Let's see what's going to be chosen. Oh, uh, uh, the points, the the points, the points. Yes, the points, the points <laughs> per race. Uh, we've got twenty eight to thirty three. So I guess that's losing by five to um in in so in. Uh, LT's favor. There we go. There's a lot of, again, different track picks. There's a Parkway choice. There's two Luigi circuits. Yeah. Two Yoshi Falls. Yeah, oh, the stream's, uh, stream's frozen. The stream has frozen. apparently froze, yeah. a bit of a freeze. Yeah, let's, let's just try. Let's pray. Let's, yeah, let's just wait it out. Oh, there we, there we go. There we go. Yoshi Falls is where we're yep. going, guys. Yeah, so, uh, we've got two, three, four, four... Oh, that's not that. That ain't good positions for a uh, two, three, uh, for uh, LT here because the positions where you can actually drive down the, uh, you know, the sl slope at the start, like you know, you can like avoid the item boxes there. Uh, that's going to be bad uh, positioning for LT. So maybe IRC Sammy up there could try and get a breakaway. However, it hasn't worked um, since we've got Quentin and Connor and our boy Spud Lennon. Uh, he's just backspammed Quinton now, or just slagged. Uh, Juna, he's getting up there as well. We've got, uh, 2 3 for IRC here. Um, yeah. 2 3 two, 4 for IRC. And, uh, and Claw gets triple shrooms. Yeah, that, that ain't too bad. Why is he going so wide? Maybe to. Oh! oh ho, ho, ho. Uh, yeah. I don't know why he went so wide there. Like, he could have used a shroom going tight, honestly. Uh, IRC's top four. That's shroom here. He doesn't use a shroom. Surely, if it's lab 3, he wants to. Oh! Uh, Higgers with the bump. I don't know why he's gone the wide way, as well. I mean, like he it's does not... seem to be, he doesn't seem to be playing not... great right now. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be playing the best. I don't know why he went so wide there. Maybe to avoid the mega, but I think I was too cautious of him. And Owen with the bill dodge. That's an uh, LT shock, but I don't and... know if that's going to help them. Juna getting eighth. Uh, five, six, seven. I think for IRC. IRC um, might have got like one. Yeah, yeah, oh. they got first. Yeah, five, six, seven. One four five six seven for IRC there. Yeah, IRC is that's an LT bottom three. They're not getting that bonus point. Yeah, it was a very good. It was very, L, LT played very well, but in the end, I don't think it was enough for them. And yeah, I'm just looking at the um, scores now, and L, IRC won that GP by twenty two. 
Oh, so a loss by... A loss by 50. Yeah. Oh, 50. Okay. 50 big points. A loss yeah. by bang on 50. So it was a very interesting race, though. Oh, very, very. I mean, from Claw's side, I think he played a little too cautious. Like, he could have got a higher position for his team. Um, like, if he if he didn't go too wide, uh, like, avoiding the Mega, uh, maybe even Chain the Shroom. Chain the Shroom, uh, uh start of lap 3. He could have easily just, uh, tried try to get to first at the start of lap 3, because we all know, obviously, Yoshi Falls one of the shortest tracks in the game. Uh, obviously coming second to, uh, Ghost Valley 2. Yeah. So what he what he really want would have wanted to do there was to um try and shroom up into the high position as fast as he possibly can, other than going wide to avoid other things around him. So yeah, well um that was a very just interesting just, match uh, anyway. But the call's getting print screen with my uh Hitler joke. Oh, Ooh, I, I don't think it's gonna do it down too well for the Germans. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway, I believe we are done. Oh, got my phone was dropped on the floor. Um, oh. we are done for now. Um, I think we're going to have like about a half an hour break and then right. we will cast <laughs> something else. Hopefully, I think we're going to do probably Zoltanite and Charge Brigade Silver. I think Already. Be we're going to be doing, um, yeah, that, that's a good match too. Uh, so to yeah, uh, we will see you in about half an hour. If we don't cast... In half an hour, it'll be some time tonight. I think I might wait a bit longer till all the Americans come on, maybe, uh, so they can enjoy it as well. Because I believe some of them are still in. <laughs> Meme team versus Midnight Wars. Awesome. <laughs> Meme, <laughs> yeah. Well, M7 and MW needs to be done, and ZT CBS, and a few of the Division One matches as well. Um, but yeah, I believe that's all we've got to say, and we will see you soon. All right. Goodbye, everyone. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. Have Tuning fun. In.